Hi, Carlos. Thank you for sending in your watch. This is a family watch. This is, uh, this is one that's important to you personally and to your family. And so we wanna, we wanna look at it and see what we can come up with. It's a 7,009. It's definitely had a working life. Loom in the hands is a little darkened down. We've got signs of moisture intrusion on the dial in a number of different places. Uh, I'll, I'll do what I can with that. I'll clean it. What tends to happen with these clear top dials is the moisture gets under the top of the clear coat and then it, uh, it what it can do is it then it oxidizes on the metal layer underneath. But we'll get it clean. Definitely original. Let's uh, let's look at the movement. Hang on. I'm gonna have to lean on it. It does not want to open. There we go. Sometimes you just need a little, a little persuasion. I don't believe I asked you the service history of this watch. Uh, I bet you it probably hasn't been serviced, but you never know. Yep, it's original. Look at that gasket. Amazing, it's still got any pliability at all. Not a lot, but some. Movement's definitely dirty. Not that that's a surprise. I am a goof. There's a fingerprint there. I don't see any markings inside the case back. Yeah, it's rare to see one of these with a worn lower mainspring arm report, but that's what this one has. Yeah, look at that. See how much this thing, this this ratchet wheel here is flopping around? This thing sits on top. The the mainspring is right here. It's a it's a flat it's a flat barrel, and it's got a it's got a coiled flat mainspring inside of it. And, uh, and it turns on, the axle it turns on is called the mainspring arbor. And so the arbor is anchored top and bottom in a bushing on the top and a hole in the brass main plate in the bottom. They are supposed to, they're supposed to not do that. Because that means the whole, the whole thing is moving. So I'm definitely, definitely going to have to think about redoing that lower mainspring arbor jewel because that is rough. Somebody wore this watch a lot. I'm telling you that. It's powered up here and I want to look at the numbers. Uh, the mainspring feels really gluey. Let's, uh, let's go look at the numbers. I don't think this is really going to tell us anything we don't know. I don't think we're going to see any surprises. Definitely it's a runner. It 
Sorry for the loud noises. Look at that. Zero beat error. Almost no beat error. Boy, I tell you, Seiko made an amazing product. I mean, really. I mean, the thing arrived running. I don't think it's ever been serviced. Look at that. Look at that. Even with all that wear and dirt and grease and lower mainspring arbor wear, The numbers are going to drop, obviously. I'm, I'm not expecting that they're not going to. I can't wait to service this thing and see what the numbers are right out of the box. I'm going to, you know, go through, service it. And I start off without doing any adjustments, and uh, we'll see where we're at. I'm a big fan of watching the numbers because the numbers tell us everything. Everything we need to know. I'm really impressed. This is not what I was expecting at all. I was expecting we were going to see huge beat error and it was just going to be just going to be wandering all over the place in terms of accuracy. Look at those numbers. Boy, it's got a good heart, hmm? That really is amazing. Okay, I don't think we're going to learn anything more right now. Now let's be done with this. So I think that the, the, obviously our path forward is clear. I'll do my best on the dial. See, by the way, see how the dial has sort of a purplish cast to it? That's another aspect of the, the working life it's had. And some people call that a sunburn dial. It's just, it's got some... Uh, patina, it's got some oxidation to the metal layer underneath the clear coat. I'll do my best with the dial. It's definitely going to look better. There are some things that I'm just not going to be able to probably address, like say this watermark here around that marker. But it'll be clean. Watch has a good heart. I think by the whole, on the whole, it's got, um, the path forward is pretty straightforward. We've seen the numbers. I know the lower mainspring art report needs to be redone and it needs a service. I may, it's possible I might run into something when I'm in there. I, I don't, I don't know. I never give a definitive answer until I'm actually done and in it, but that's all I'm seeing right now. So if you could, I'm going to send you the estimate. If you could review that and bang it back to me, I'll get to work. And we can we can start making this one ready to go back on the wrist. Okay, thank you.